Hey guys, how are you doing? I've made a new video about the Exagears Windows application. You can download this from this link. It will be the English version, as the previous one was in Chinese. So let's get started. You will download the APK file. And then you will have to download uh, the data folder. This version has uh, both things separated, unfortunately but uh, we will go through the whole process the other files of the link are not that important it's the previous chinese version of the application another modded apk and the dsound dll that i have used previously with uh, when i had sound problems so we will wait a while for the download and then we will download the mesa 3d libraries for the opengl we will get the latest version then we will download the wine direct 3d libraries we will download the old version of them as it is compatible with uh, the exagir version that we have now that we have everything we will have to unpack the the zip files so let's get started with the exagir data file we will extract it and then we will replace okay so we now we have it let's get back so we will follow with the wine direct 3d libraries exactly the same process then we will have to get back because the mesa libraries are in 7-zip so i will use another program to extract the 7-zip archives the one i'm using is called es file explorer but you can use any other application that can extract 7-zip files so let's get back we will start with the installation of the Exagir Windows application. Before we can start the Exagir application, we will have to copy and the data files to their respective folder. So we'll go inside here, copy the com -ltx -ede folder, copy it, okay, and then we will have to get back, go to the Android folder, to the OBB, and copy it. This version of Exagir is in English, so it will help you a lot because the previous Chinese version was very difficult to use. So now that we have the files, we are ready to start the application and follow with the other steps. So let's get back. We can open the application. Allow. It's starting up. Now we will go through the other steps that we have seen in the previous work of 3 video. Uh, let me disable the, the notification. Okay, so let's get back. Let's go to the menu. To manage containers, create new container. Okay, let's view the properties. Okay, so let's check name, screen resolution, default resolution when launch. Let's get uh, 800 by 600. Let's get back and run the container. So now we are in. Let me disable the status bar. We have everything prepared in the downloads folder on our Android device. So we will follow with copying all the library files uh, to Windows System32. Let's copy the OpenGL32 DLL. Go to C, Windows. System32, copy it here and oh, replace the existing files. Let's get back for the Wine Direct 3D libraries. Let's select all the library files, copy. Let's get back to Windows System32, paste them here replace all the previously existing libraries now we are almost done we will have to change the wine configuration so we will use the newly copied libraries let's go to start run wine cfg and ok so we are here let's go to libraries and we will add the new overrides for the, all the libraries 
let's move the window so we can have a look at the names of the DLL files where we are adding them so now that we have prepared everything we can start with adding the overrides let's start with uh, the D3D 10 and click add then we will follow with the other file and so on for all the DLL libraries Now we are almost done. Let's go for the Mesa 3D library. Type OpenGL32 and click Add. Now we have finished all the configurations and we will test it with uh, the previous game. Let's start Warcraft 3. Because in this video we have configured the Wine Direct 3D libraries, we will be able to launch the game directly. We won't be needing the special shortcut file that uses the OpenGL parameter. So let's double click the executable and we will see for ourselves. And it worked. We are starting the game right now. The Wine Direct 3D libraries have a little bit worse performance in Warcraft 3 in particular. I will have to check it with another games, but you can use at least the, the English version of Exagir. Thank you for watching the video. That will be all.